afternoon, ladies and gentle guardians. Vic Showman here, and uh, I'm gonna try to keep in this uh, intro here pretty quickly so we can get to the gameplay as quickly as possible. Uh, I had a pretty good, uh, pretty decent game. Uh, wish I didn't die. Could have had an undefeated, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try keeping this quick, straight to the point. Um, so we got the Forge's Pledge. Um, the rules I got in this are Hammer Forge, Steady Round, Zen Moment, and Rampage with Stability Masterwork. I also have another one with Surplus Multi Kill Clip, but I decided to go with this. It just seemed better. Overall, I don't know, it kind of depends. Um, decent roll, not the greatest. So, about this weapon, and I need to, I always forget this, I need this thumbnail. But yeah, about this weapon. Um, <clears throat> so the archetype that this weapon is in, it is in the adaptive frame. So 390, so think of, uh, I'm gonna use, why is Hawksaw on my mind? Hawksaw, I believe was the 390. Think of, uh, Wow, I am blanking. The Gian. The Gian, I think, is also a 390. Um, yeah, so think of that archetype. So it's 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 pretty mid-range. It's pretty mid of the pack, honestly. Um, not the most competitive, in my opinion. A uh, little bit more forgiving than uh, high impacts. But again, high impacts can two tap. And then uh, rapid fires are also kind of got their you know their own spot in the crucible. So. This archetype's kind of just in an awkward place. Um, I've been playing around with it, a little bit with it. It's, it's okay. You know, it's okay. And I don't think that's a detriment to the gun itself. I think that's mainly a detriment to where these pause rifles stand in the meta right now. You know, um, they're not bad. They're just kind of average. They're just like fine whatever you know what i mean and like i said that doesn't mean it's a bad weapon like you saw i was using it i put in a bit of work with it um so I, I even forgot to put a freaking mod on it i put in a bit of you know a bit of work in with it so it's not bad you can have success with it um but overall just keep in mind if you love this archetype of pulse rifle if you loved uh like gian and stuff then you'll probably like this i do think you will enjoy this pulse rifle and i hope my webcam's not too laggy right here but um but yeah, so those are just my initial thoughts on it. So uh, let's head right into the Crucible. Look at that, there we are. Oh my gosh. Uh, Armor is born to see combat. Where Vex is just well. too good. I don't, I am so sorry. I don't, uh, okay. Well, I had to mute myself. I prefer to hear myself through the mic, but that's fine. I don't want to have someone else have to actually listen to me speak. So, one ear muff off we go. Um, let's just grab this. Oh, you got it. You don't need me. We're good. We're good. You, you don't need me. Zone B. Two zones are yours. Zone C lost. Oh, let's go around here. You pick people's off. Pick people off and funnel here. Zone A captured. Two zones. Oh, this is bad. Great shotgun, by the way. Zone B lost. All of you together. Oh, sure. Like iron lords. Okay, let's see what we can do with this false rifle here. I'm gonna be honest. I'm really forcing myself to use this. I don't want this on right now. I am just dying to put Vex middle class back on. Like, I am being honest. Not to say this thing's bad, but it's not in the most, you know, competitive archetype. There's high impacts and there's rapid fires, and I'd rather be using probably either of those. Well, it depends, actually. This man trapped himself in here. With the enemy! Look, if I put it, these are the strats. Alright? They won't even see it. You gotta put them like this. Well, I mean, they will see those, but y you get the point. Someone's bound to run into it, like that. <laughs> Someone's bound to run into those. I mean, this will be honest here. Peekaboo. Uh, whatever, I'll take an assist. Honestly, I'm cool with anything at this point. What is this Titan doing? We are in their spawn, I think. Unless the spawns are reversing right now. I don't, I thought I missed that. Sure, I'll take a clean up, why not? Uh, what do we got? You. 
I want to keep this momentum going, but I don't want to. I don't want to go too hard. Because I really. Oh, we got the sidearm. I'm going to have to record a video on that. Maybe not the second, but, you know, I have to get around to it. Oh, we got him right before the super ran out. That's good. That is good indeed. Good super. I am quite pleased. We didn't get beamed by Vex Middle Class or anything like that. Um, I am portraying my future, aren't I? <laughs> that probably wasn't the best place to put a Wombo combo, but eh, it's whatever. Oh, that's, that's a good person. Hello, good person. Glad you're on my team or else I would have died. I feel bad. I yoinked that from him. Hope he still got hero credit. He should have. He was in the super, wasn't he? We, this might end up being a mercy, but I'm content. I am content. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't feel like playing a um uh what's it called? Rumble match. I'm blanking so hard. How many times have I died? I can't remember. Uh, I probably died or else I probably would have gotten a 10 kill streak by now. I don't want to mess with that. Goodbye. I'm going to the other side of the map. Actually, no, I'm getting this. And then I'm going to the left side of the map. Are you kidding me? My guy. That is rather unfortunate. That thing was nowhere near me. I must have been at the very end of the freeze and freeze, dude. Because that thing was nowhere near me. What the hell? Nowhere near me. At least all the supers are coming out now. So I should be getting... Like, while all the supers are coming out right now, I should be getting my super. Um, They're going to die. Someone's bound to walk into that. Maybe? Oh, well, they're still there. Hopefully someone walks into it. We'll see. Because everyone's using their supers now, but I actually almost have my super back. So that's good. Hopefully I can use mine uncontested. That's the hope at least, but we'll see. Nope. There's too many people there. All of you together. Ow. Like iron boards. So yeah. Let's captured. just play it safe here. We're doing alright this game. I'd like to keep it that way. Ooh. I'm calling it. Oh no! Don't kill me, please. I have Goldie Gun. You'd make an excellent. Boom, boom, boom. Nice! Oh my gosh, I finally got a good game! And the game's like, here you go, Frozen Orbit. I gift you with Frozen Orbit. I am so happy we finally got a usable game. We mercyed them. Oh my gosh. I died one. No. No! I died one time. I did. Oh. Oh, that hurts me so much on the inside. I was going off the assumption that I did die because I was going off the assumption that I did die because I didn't see the 10 kill streak. I don't know if it showed up or or what happened. That sucks. We would have gotten a Weeran, possibly, and an undefeated if I didn't die there. I guess there's not too much I could have done about it. I mean, I got frozen, and then there was also a Dawnblade, so it was just a matter of timing, you know? I, it was just an unfortunate place. Matter of being in an unfortunate place at an, at an unfortunate time. So, I mean, nothing I can really do about that. Alrighty, you guys. There you have it. That is the Forge's Pledge. So, um, yeah. Oh, I mean, I've been, I would say, I've been enjoying my time with this weapon. But I'm going to be straight up honest, you could probably tell, I'm not too into pulse rifles. Um, I, I've always just, I've not, I'm not very used to them, you know? They've always kind of been whatever to me. Not pulse, rif pulse rifles in general, it's just not the archetype of weapon that I usually go towards. You know, I'm more of a hand cannon kind of guy. I like precision weapons, that kind of stuff. So, um, but, uh, you know good few games in i eventually started to get the hang of it it's not bad you can definitely have success with it but like i said at the beginning of the video it's very average it's very average and i don't think that's because that's not a detriment to the gun itself i i think the the gun's fine 
um it's just the archetype it's stuck in into where they are in the meta like they're they're in a an awkward place where you can use them and have a uh, variable success with them but they're not generally seen as the most competitive they don't have the two tap uh of the high impacts they don't have the rapid fire forgiveness and flinch necessarily uh maybe these things do flinch but you know necessarily as the rapid fires um so they're kind of just in this awkward middle ground now is that to say it's a bad weapon no but like i said earlier um just kind of average it's just okay you know if you're a fan of this archetype of weapon i do think you'll like this weapon it, it gets the job done and not to mention it looks really nice and the scope is clean clean scope do love that about it um but yeah so <clears throat> honestly i'd say it's worth getting your hands on whether or not it's going to be competitive or have a place in the crucible that kind of depends i do think that there would be people you know a decent amount of people that do enjoy using this weapon personally i don't think it's for me but it's not bad I, I, that's just because i in general am not the biggest pulse rifle user but for somebody who does enjoy pulse rifles i do think that this is a, <laughs> i can't speak that this is worth picking up i do think it is um so just kind of my thoughts on it and there you guys have it that is the forge's pledge new iron banner pulse rifle um yeah that's all we got to say like it if you liked it love it i, I mean Ugh. So yeah, that's all I really got to say. Uh, like if you liked it, uh, subbed if you loved it, and remember to stay as positive as possible, and I will see you guys in the next video and or live stream.